Okay. Let's continue. All right. <laughs> okay. uh, let's see. Moving on to the approval of the minutes. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay. Uh, no public comment today. No new business today. So we want to hold business. The artistic side walks and stay Yeah, so this is exciting. Um, the submissions closed on the 1st of July. And um, last we heard, we had five applications for crosswalks and 16 for signal wraps. So the next step will be for the public works department to go through the applications and rule out any that won't be able to be put on a crosswalk or a signal wrap. Um, and then we'll bring whatever makes it through that process for to you all to take a look at and vote on your favorites. And then we'll notify the artists and, and continue with the process. So. Um, it was fairly successful for the first call again for a couple of years. I need to go through the location and the idea. I believe so. I believe um, some put locations that they would like to see it, but it was also open ended to be that like the city could select it. <laughs> yeah. Any other comments or uh, media and art updates. Uh, so we all submitted your votes for the art for the median um, at Hampton and Delaware. These were the four that um, you guys voted on. It's a great shot of that one. This one, the concern is the color. Um, and this one came in at in third place. Hugs was the next one. This one actually came in second place. And then this one came in. Oops. Oh, this one's the agave that we talked about moving forward with. This one came in at and fourth. And then the last one here is if you get me. Right here. So this came in first um, place. So um, Debbie did reach out to the artists. She said all the artists, all four could do their own installation, which is a big deal. Um, I, she did check on colors, like are these completed pieces of art or are these conceptual? Can colors change? The only everybody said yes except for duet. Um, that one's completed, already installed somewhere else. It's, could it would be moved, just like you can't pin me down or um, the rainbow points one. So this one came in first. Uh, if that one came in first, we need to. Both to select that one. Correct. Yeah. So, and the cost of that one is 20,000. Yeah. Oh, it says the artwork has not been fabricated. Artist is open to finding a surface that would meet CDOT requirements. So, again, can't be shiny or reflective in nature. Um, it takes 30 to 45 days to actually build, and he can do his own installation. Do we need to? So then we've reached out to him. Yeah, actually, she heard back from all of them. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Any thoughts or discussion on the pieces? Yeah. 
it's a lot of wrong. I really like the agave. If you press your car in. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was. Yeah. I mean, that's scary tonight. Any comments on uh, Lunar? Um, was it the best? Was the best world of things? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a nice step for artists to decide on the material to make a nice little proposal for something different with it. I'm a, I believe this one's a metal piece. Yeah, I think yeah. Are so I think it's just like the, there are restrictions on what the surface of it is, what color it is. And Debbie did reach out to CDOT to say, here's four pieces we're considering. Can you give us any feedback? And they said no. Uh -huh. They've got to have all the details for the piece. And in order to get that from the artist, that'd be a lot of extra work, possibly. So, but, um, but since this has to be fabricated. It could it could change te technically if needed. Yeah. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve funding for the lunar one thousand dollars for the lunar. I'll second that motion. All in favor. All opposed. Right. We'll move it as oh. And then just to give you a couple of updates. Um, so uh, I bet you can't pin me down out here in the amphitheater. We noticed cracking of the cloud not Monday, the Monday before to be down there. And so I was cracking. So I emailed Justin, who's the artist, and said, hey, this is happening. Send them pictures. He has come out and fixed it, repainted it. He said he's available to obviously come back out anytime we see anything going on with it. So if you happen to be around, you see something, email WRI, and we'll get it taken care of. So I'm kind of glad it's out here versus a medium that yeah. we wouldn't see those sort of things regularly. Um, and then for the Rainbow Point, um, we're still waiting for the structural engineer to get us better detail for CDOT to make their final decision if it can go in the median or not. That is all we're waiting for at this point. So I'm hoping by <laughs> August, we have it installed in our city. So um, once we get that that stamp of approval, then we'll be able to move forward. And Jonathan is a ticket. Yeah, we thought it was going to be installed last October. Yeah. 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 yeah, and the challenge is the medians and there's restrictions because um, Hampton's a CDOT. Um, it's under their regulations. It's not a city median per se. So there's different challenges. And it's based off of public safety, obviously. Yeah. No. Okay. Yes. It's uh, the inner part of the cloud is a foam base. And as the temperatures were heating up, obviously. So I'm kind of curious to see in the wintertime yeah. what happens with that. But He's using a pretty high strength cock, a gorilla glue type cock to fix it. Because I hear burning your worms. Cool. Any other comments or? All right, let's move on to the funding for events or supplies. So I don't really know where this left off. I know that we've talked about it at each meeting, but um, was that, I know that one time we talked about it, it was just doing one lump sum with the expectation that I would have some type of interactive art at each of the events. I don't recall what that end amount was what I reached out to Debbie and I think she's like, I'll put you on the agenda. <laughs> it's a, it's two thousand dollars for the immersive art. In April, the we voted to move money from artist grants to immersive arts. Two thousand dollars total. And was that covering all three markets and the block party? I believe that's correct. So. Yeah. 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 
And anything at the tree lighting? Tree lighting is 500. Tree lighting is 500. Awesome. Well, I did uh, secure Crafty Chassis to come to the July market and the tree lighting. Um, she can't be at the August market, so I'm working on that. I'm actually working with an artist at Continuum to see if we can figure out some kind of immersive thing for her to do, whether it be a little clinic or some kind of small craft that they can take with them, because um, that's always the fun part. Um, and so with Crafty Chassis, she's going to, um, I was able to purchase X amount of uh, crafts. And then after that, after she exceeds that, then she'll sell so that she would stay for the whole time. Um, so I think we were able to get 50 crafts um, that can be free at each of the events. And then after that, she will sell. So I'll have to double check on that. Um, but I did see that her uh, approval came through from procurement for the contract. So we just need to finish those final details, but she'll be, she's planning on being at the market on July 13th. So that will be fun for people um, to do because I don't know if you guys recall, but she was at one of the other markets that EDDA had um, sponsored and it was the flower one and they got to do little like flower pots and they painted bees and um, this one's themed fitness, um, but she's still going to do summer crafts and stuff. So it's fun for the kiddos. And then the one in August is dog days of summer and she's not able to come to that one, but I got, but puppies are. Because I know you guys are upset because puppies, puppies were not celebrate. The puppies will be at Dog Day, Dog Day of Summer in August. Um, I'll be there. Yeah. That's dangerous. <laughs> and then um, also have reached out to the person that did the watercolor for um, you all last year. And it sounds like she might have a scheduling conflict, but I haven't had a confirmation back from yet. So, um, and hopefully I'll be able to. Uh, we're, we'll be able to figure out with the budget that there's still be enough that we can have her and pay for the for her to be there. Was the watercolor person like the same person that we had like the first year two years ago? I don't know. Sorry, Leah. Mm -hmm. They all went together. <laughs> I think last year was a watercolor. Things I remember like, them like, hanging like, around, and then people could let them dry and go and check out the rest of the party, over. and then come back and get there. I don't even know what you I know. Apparently, tomorrow is the Fourth of July. <laughs> I've heard, um, but we don't know. Here. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we'll definitely find something um, fun for. The families to do and we're kind of changing up a little bit this year with having um, kind of the younger adults kids youth stuff um, kind of down Gerard and not so much on Broadway because they usually pack up and close around 7 30 ish and last year that left the north end of the block very vacant and mm -hmm. uh, so we made the decision to kind of have like kid row <laughs> and uh, you like that <laughs> And um, then kids are going to want to leave a little bit earlier before it gets very adulty and <laughs> and alcohol content goes up. Um, and that way, all of Broadway will still be flooded with vendors and stuff like that. So a few changes, but I think they'll be good. But we'll definitely have something for the kiddos to do for sure. If nothing else, we'll have bubbles. Because everyone loves bubbles. <laughs> Everybody loves bubbles. Everyone loves bubbles. But yeah. Great. Cool. We're right. On the staff's choice. You want to talk about tomorrow? About what? Tomorrow. And sunset concerts. I'll be yeah. Back. So July 1st um, was really the kickoff to craziness, um, but good craziness. So obviously we have 4th of July tomorrow. 
And then next week we have adult night on the 10th, the first summer concert, which is adult nights at Pirates Cove. Oh, yeah. Yeah. sorry. No kids. Sorry. Adult night at Pirates Cove. You can Cove. float around. Enjoy the park. <laughs> sorry. No, no. My bad. In my head, Pirates Cove was on there, but, um, and then the first Sunset Concerts on Thursday, which is Gorilla Fanfare, and then- and that's out here at the amphitheater. Mm-hmm. And then we have the market on Saturday. The out here also. Out here at yeah. the City Center Circle. So that's just next week. Um, and then moving on, um, we'll, for the remaining Thursdays in July, we'll have a Sunset Concert at the amphitheater. And then we uh, have a ton of adult nights going on around town and just a lot of cool stuff happening. So if you guys are like, what should we do in Inglewood? Just get onto the website, go to the calendar, and there's something every week, if not every night, that you guys can go and do. I know the Chamber's doing some cool things too. They're having a patio thing on the 13th. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, a lot of neat stuff. And then obviously um, August 24th is the block party. And so we are going to have lots to do between now and then. So look forward to seeing you at all of them. And I'll add to the recreation division is doing 42nd Street as a summer drama program yeah. this year. They've already cast it. It's going to be put on at the end of this month, $14 per ticket. If you buy online or 15 at the door, if you show up the night of. So look online for that information as well. But the shows have been really good in the past. They have been. Last year was um, Wizard of Oz. They were amazing at the high school. Yeah, so check that out. It's it's worth it. It's a cheap way to get entertainment. And you have local Inglewood residents performing. And there's lots, three showing, right? Yeah, there's three shows, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I think the shows are all seven, except that Sunday's at 2 p.m. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. I was impressed with the talent last year. Good voices, good actresses and actors. So if you're around, I take it to the show. All right, I have one more other announcement. The amphitheater, check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah, did you see Yeah, that? they hung the panels today. I saw it so, in. And I saw the... Selfie spot? Selfie wall. Yeah, yeah, they finished that today, too. So... Our goal was by next Thursday, and they got it all done today. So That's Christina amazing. texted me this morning, and they, they were out there hanging in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that whole place out there is awesome now. Yeah. yeah. The intern mural's done. The the hanging wall stuff is all up, which is cool. Art. You can't put any downs out there. No. We're happening. Art's happening. And sooner or later, the, the spark will be open. Yeah, with Red Line moving in. Mm -hmm. Do you have a date when they're coming in? I haven't heard. Last thing I know is July 1st. And that didn't happen. Yeah. So, stay tuned. Because I know there's people over there working. I can see them at Christmas. Is there anything from the library? Um, the only thing I wanted to just say was thank you to the commission for the sponsorship for the art. I'm sorry, not art, uh, the author festival last month. Um, this meeting in June happened before the author festival, so I didn't get to provide an update. Uh, we had 20 authors. I believe it was 14 that participated in the showcase in the morning, and then all 20 authors participated in four different panels in the afternoon. Um, and then we had over 100 um, attendees at the event. Um, and I believe that the funding provided by the Cultural Arts Commission uh, covered the cost of the uh, luncheon that was provided for the authors and um, the volunteers and uh, the few of the staff that were there helping out for the day. So all in all, it was really successful. It did get a little bit bigger than we originally planned and cost us a little bit more money than we were able to kind of fundraise for um and get sponsorships and stuff for but um it all went really smoothly the authors really enjoyed everything um and we look forward to doing more um author events in the future down in the library great 
And this is what the amphitheater looks like if you did not see it. That was as of this afternoon. You were unavailable for consultation, so that was my executive decision. I love it. That's great. <laughs> um, also, the author fair was the same day as the market, and they complemented each other very well. Yeah. Okay. Any other staff choice? No. Commissioner's choice? Um, they're they started cleaning today, so they're pretty like spray and wash every building some other all that and then next and this weekend it's basically double till start from the weekends work and kind of done their murals and um and then the eighth through twelve they're going to be the mural in Casper will be doing that one. So that one was the south. Town hall or visual, so they'll take up, I think, in the shot hole long. And then the nip on the elements are going to the 13th and 14th of July. So we'll get to see all of it very nice. Yeah, and there will be like lighting back there so that everything's ready. So, yeah. yeah. Well, Commissioner's Choice is just a place where you could share. That's good. Great. I have a baby thing, up, I guess. Um, I think I know someone in the 47th Street collection you're talking about. So if you need anything for this, yeah, I hope we know someone. Okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. My commissioner's choice thing is that the Mayor Council will have a meeting on Tuesday. Martin's famous. <laughs> That's it. Um, all right, let's adjourn at 6 17. Are you all coming out to the fourth tomorrow? Yes. See? I'm sure 